wave of burglaries pitting the San Fernando Valley into a high alert from computer stores to smoke shops and pharmacies. The LAPD pouring in resources to stop the spree. And now the department says several suspects are under arrest. KCAL News reporter Lori Perez is live in Canoga Park tonight with what we know so far, Lori. Well, Pat, we're across the street from one of uh, five stores that were hit overnight here in the San Fernando Valley. That shoe store across the street sells high-end sneakers. It is right on the main drag here on a very busy street. LAPD's interim chief says they're getting a handle on this dangerous trend, but clearly it cannot be stopped soon enough. Rightfully, the community members, uh, business owners and residents are very concerned, very scared. And we're deploying high visibility resources from our mounted unit to patrol resources to our airship. LAPD's interim chief told the city's board of police commissioners Tuesday how they're trying to stop a rash of break-ins in the San Fernando Valley, announcing they made two big arrests last week and are working with the FBI, thinking these crews are organized and targeting multiple cities. But even as he spoke, investigators were working five more burglaries from just overnight. Starting at this smoke shop in Arlita, where the owner says at first he thought there was another earthquake when the suspects drove a car into the store and then got out and fought with him. Then this Canoga Park computer shop. This is disaster. Where David Farr says the thieves jammed his Wi-Fi and blocked his security cameras, taking cash, cameras. Oh, they took my gun. LAPD believes the same guys from Farr's store next hit this shoe store on Topanga Canyon Boulevard. Cops pursued the suspects and say they took one person into custody. Two pharmacies were also targeted, this one in Sun Valley and Riverside Discount Drugs in Valley Village. I'm worried about any... Uh, any uh, behavior which is not suitable for human beings, especially in a civilized country like America. We often hear worried residents say they think there aren't serious consequences for these kinds of crimes, and even if suspects are caught, they'll get released. There's the reality and then there's the what people are saying. Criminal defense attorney Lou Shapiro says he gets why people think that, but it's not exactly true. The deals might be uh, a little more lenient under the Gascon uh, sort of overseeing this than, than otherwise, but there's still going to be felonies. There's still going to be residential burglaries. There are going to be strike offenses. They may not do a lot of time the first time around, but if it happens more than once, they will be facing serious time. Now, LAPD says you're going to see them doing a lot of things like increased patrols, but they're doing just as many things that you will not see as they try to stop these break-ins. We are live in Canoga Park. I'm Lori Perez. Pat, back to you. All right. Thanks so much, Lori.